So buyer personas are a very important first step. Um, that it's, you know, we really, really encourage our clients or anyone to focus on. Understanding your, understanding your target audience is key um, before you can build valuable content for them. So a lot of the clients that come to us, um, they know their target audience inside and out, but they don't have it documented. And as silly as it sounds, just documenting it and going through those exercises um, and putting it on the wall to remind you of why you're in business and, and what you're, why you're doing what you're doing can really help focus your content marketing and your strategy overall. The first thing that we look at when we're doing a persona exercise is demographics. So this could be age, gender, income, um, you know, maybe it's their tech savviness, just anything that really um, can differentiate who your actual target audience is on a demographic side. And then motivators. So what actually motivates your customers to choose your business over your competitor? So maybe it's that you're more competitively priced, or maybe it's that you've been in the industry for 25 years and you've really made a name for yourself. Um, there can be a variety of reasons. Maybe your product is very easy to use compared to some other solutions. Um, so what motivates your customers to go to you versus your competitors? And pain points, what frustrates them? Um, what would cause them to leave you and go to the competition? Is it price or is it that you didn't do what you said you were gonna do? Is it quality of service? So really understanding that um, creates um, a powerful foundation for addressing those pain points in your content. And the next one on the list is barriers. So these would be, um, you know, reasons why maybe your potential leads are, you know, deciding to stay with their current provider, or what are the reasons why they maybe didn't decide to go with you. So, you know, these could be, you know, maybe you don't offer free shipping and their current supplier does. or um, Again, it could be a price issue, or it could be that maybe just the process, if, especially if you're a B2B, maybe the process of switching over to a new supplier is just too much work. So reasons why people either decide to stay with their current provider or distributor um, versus coming to you. And what's in it for me? So what's in it for them? Um, why do they choose you? Why do they keep coming back? Really thinking through that um, and making a statement about that is also very powerful. Oh, and then quotes. So these are what people are actually saying about your business. So these are customers. You can find these um, via phone calls to your customer service department, or it could be, you know, shout outs on Twitter or Facebook or even an email. So these are, you know, some of my favorites because it really gives you an insight on what your real customers are really saying about you.